Hello viewers, I am Dr. Rekha. Welcome to my channel. This video is for MPhil and PhD scholars who are going to write part 1 examinations of Bhartia University. Before that, if you are watching my video for the first time, then do subscribe and click bell button so that you receive notification whenever I upload a new video. In this video, I share previous year question paper of statistical analysis for business research for the candidates who got admitted in the branch of commerce. This question paper is shared by one of my subscribers, Mr. Naza from Atapadi Palaka District, Kerala. At present, he is pursuing PhD in Commerce in Kongonad Arts and Science College, Coimbatore. I am actually so grateful to him. Thank you, Naza. Well, let's continue. Statistical analysis for business research is a problematic paper. So, from your syllabus, you can expect 40% theory questions and 60% problem questions. Maximum marks of question paper is 100. Total number of questions is 16, which is divided into two parts, part A and part B. In part A, there will be 8 questions and out of this 8 questions, you have to write 5. Well, in part B also, there will be 8 questions, which you have to write 5 out of 8 questions. Well, the total number of questions which you have to attend is 10. Here in the screen, you can see the question paper of October 2021 batch. Well, you can take screenshot of the question paper. As it is problem paper, you will be finding very difficult in preparation, right? I share the important questions which has been asked repeatedly. From theory section, 40% will be covered. So, from each unit, let's see what are the important questions which is asked. You can expect questions from sampling techniques and data then testing of hypothesis next method of measurement of trend and seasonal variation and uh, analysis analysis means multivariate analysis then next problem which you have to give more importance is for measures of central tendency that is mean median mode then standard deviation uh, then our regression and correlation next is test for small samples then uh, from fourth unit you can expect high square test and the uh, ANOVA test. Well from the last two unit you can expect from Whitney U test and Kruskal Valley test. Then time series analysis and discriminant analysis. So these are the areas which are repeatedly asked in the uh, MPhil and PhD degree examinations. Well, if you focus more on this areas, you will be able to score good marks. You can get the PDF of this question paper from my telegram group. If any of my subscribers have previous year question papers, then please share to my mail. I will upload in my channel so that the candidates who are going to write MPhil PhD part 1 examination will get benefited from this. Wish you all the best for your examination. If you have any more doubts, you can drop in the comment section. And for receiving latest updates, you can join my telegram and follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching.